Hello YouTubers, uh, this is a tutorial on how to set up your own personal home DVR and cut your cable bill completely out of the mix so that you save that hundred bucks every month. Um, things that you're going to need in order to achieve this. You're going to need a directional antenna, probably a good $100 or $200 one. You're going to need a inline amplifier. You're going to need probably uh, 100 feet of coaxial cable, maybe more, I don't know, whatever your house needs in coax. Uh, you're going to need a uh, uh, four-way splitter with amplification. Uh, you're going to need a computer that can receive your tuner cards. Uh, you're going to need to have a computer uh, that has a motherboard that I would probably recommend a computer that has several PCI Express 1 slots, which is a, a smaller version of PCI Express. And the tuners are affordable, but they do an amazing job. I would not recommend USB tuners. I uh, had a lot of problems with them. You can get by with the PCI tuners, which are the older ones. Hoppage is an excellent brand. There's a lot of driver support with it with Windows, so that's a good way to go. Uh, back to the equipment you're going to need. When you get the computer, make sure that you get a computer that has um, HDMI video out. Um, and other than that, uh, it does actually require a ton of of processor power and a decent amount of RAM. Um, I own a computer shop and I hear people all the time say things like, oh I need 8 gigabytes of RAM to you know surf the internet and write Word documents, which is ridiculous. But in this case you actually will need the RAM. Um, probably a bare minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM running Windows 7. You might get by with a little less if you're running it on Vista, but I wouldn't touch the Vista Media Center anyway. Um, but I would recommend doing uh, at least at least 8 gigabytes of RAM with Windows 7 Media Center. Um, also I would recommend doing the uh, uh, at least a dual core processor but if you can get like an i processor, an Intel i processor that would be great. It really does tax the system and you're gonna see major stutter if you go cheap on the processor or the RAM. Um, my, my video processing in my unit is just the standard Intel video processing that is attached to the onboard HDMI. So I don't think it's really necessary because it's not rendering any, uh, you know, uh, gaming graphics where there's fire or smoke or anything like that. It's really just displaying video, and a lot of the video that you're going to end up using is compressed enough to the point that it's not, you know, it, it's not a big deal. Anyway, so um, that's the equipment that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a, a TV that receives your HDMI. Um, other than that, that should be everything you need. So this is how you're going to set it all up. Uh, you're going to go ahead and take your antenna and you're going to mount it on the roof of your house. And before you go up there, you're going to get a reference from antennaweb.org and they will tell you based on your zip code the precise direction to aim your antenna. For my house, I had to aim my antenna at 205 degrees southwest. So you're going to go up on top of your roof with your compass and you're going to position your antenna properly and uh, you're going to mount it so that it doesn't wiggle. Uh, when you've aimed your, your directional antenna like that, it's going to receive the signal directly from the tower that you're pointing at, but it's not going to receive all the ambient crap that's outside of that, so you're going to get a nice clean signal. Um, after you've mounted your antenna, um, you're going to give yourself a couple feet of coax coming off of it, maybe two to five feet of coax, and then you're going to put your inline amplifier you don't want to run a long, long coaxial cable straight from your antenna down to the room where your DVR is in and then attempt to put an amplifier down there because what's going to happen is you're going to be amplifying a crappy signal. You cannot fix a broken TV signal. However, you can amplify a good one and then it will degrade down to a decent signal. Um, how can I explain this? Uh, I'm not going to explain it any further. Just stick the inline amp near the antenna. It's just going to be a single line amp. So once your single line gets down to your DVR room, the signal should still be at a point where it's a high quality signal because you've taken a good signal and you've amplified it with some extra power essentially. Once it gets down there, you're going to put it into your splitter. Don't put it through a standard cheapo Best Buy, you know, four-way splitter like some sort of Rocketfish $15 jobby. Um, get yourself a Motorola amplified uh, splitter off Amazon. I think I paid 55 for mine and each one of the channels had a 7 decibel gain. So uh, that's basically what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to have an inline splitter up near the antenna on the roof that's giving you a 5 to 10 decibel gain and then down at the DVR 
where you split the signal four ways, you want to have a four-way splitter slash amplifier that's giving you at least five to ten decibels on each output. You're going to run those outputs into your tuner cards that are already mounted into your uh, computer, and then you're going to run the Windows Media Center setup, and you should be able to get awesome channels. Um, I get ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, uh, my 27 CW. I don't know if you guys are in Dallas, you know what those are. Essentially, I get more TV than I can keep up with. Plus, it's all in HD. It's perfect. Um, if you want to take your DVR to the next level, uh, you can get set up with TED, which stands for Torrent Episode Downloader, that will allow you to download um, all of your HBO, Showtime, Cinema, Max, etc. Um, so you can have that all that on there. Just a heads up, I wouldn't do that, and I don't do it because that's bad. Anyway, you can use your own judgment. Those tools are out there. You have to choose if you're going to be the good guy or not. Um, additionally, you probably already know about uh, you know how to get Frostwire movies and stuff like that. I don't do it. Um, if you want to, you can. Anyway, uh, what else is there to note? Um, that should be pretty much everything. Uh, if anybody has any questions, post them on this video and I'll try to respond. I've had my setup for years and years. Uh, it works great and I've run into little hiccups over the years, but if you follow that guideline that I have given of, as far as the parts and the weight of the mount to the antenna and put the ampli amplifiers in, it should really go well.